Welcome back to Tigre Gitana. My name is Abby, and today we're going to be doing our throat chakra healing for the week of October 15th to the 22nd. And this is going to be interesting because the other chakra videos have been very interesting. As far as where we're at with communication, words, thoughts, um, it's been kind of like tad bit toxic I, I want to say they're not like kind of everywhere so hmm what are we gonna need to say this week that's what I want to know so what is our blockage for our throat chakra for the week of the 15th to the 22nd what is our throat chakra blockage Okay, so for our blockage, we have the Page of Swords, the Three of Cups, which if you have not watched both the Heart Chakra and the Solar Plexus Chakra, social and interactions and friendships and relationships like that has come up throughout those all those readings. Um, so it's kind of interesting that it's coming out as a blockage again through the Throat Chakra because it just confirms that we are not communicating properly. We're just not. We're not uh putting the effort we're not talking to our friends we're not talking to anybody we're like being very much in our heads um we're not saying what needs to be said um we're not moving forward we're not making moves it's a very hermit move it's a very hermit week like it's crazy <laughs> hi mercury i'm sorry that it's your block is this week we're not we're just not talking we're not doing the thing for the week of there's way too many cards so I'm not taking those okay yo I just want to say that Mercury is shady <laughs> it's like got the lovers in the reverse in the throat chakra and goodness knows you know that's a Gemini card so it's like the the, the whole blockage is that we're not talking <laughs> we're not talking we're not think we're not like we're thinking we're definitely thinking but we're just not speaking to anybody we're not creating the space where we're literally just not speaking and throat chakra healing has to do with saying the truth saying what needs to be said like releasing literally like how can we best heal our throat chakra this week tarot is shady as hell this literally came up in the heart chakra space in the black and now it comes up in reverse Tarot is shady. Tarot is shady. Okay. How can we best heal this? I mean, I could I could have just I could just finish the whole healing thing with that one card. But you know what? Let's pull some other cards. How can we best heal this? Our throat space this week. How can we best heal our throat chakra this week? How can we best heal? Okay. This is a very fun reading. See, this always has to do with the ego. Bottom of the deck is the Empress and the Nine of Cups. Always have to deal, always deals with the ego. Always, 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 always. Okay. So, for our throat chakra, it's very much like... This is going to be a very short video. This, it, it's just... We're not saying what needs to be said. We're not in control. We're not trying to be. We're not trying to do anything. It's just like... It's a hermit. We're in a hermit life. If you watch all the rest of the chakra videos, this is a recurring theme this week, which means that the hermiting is blocking the rest of the chakras as you go up from the root up. And it's kind of like, why? The only chakra that the root, that the hermit card came up as a good thing was the root chakra because we need to realign ourselves mentally because the whole mental thing keeps coming up throughout all the readings. We need to realign ourselves mentally to really ground ourselves back to where we need to be this is not a good thing because we're not we're just not interacting we're not connecting whether it's with our ancestors whether it's spiritually whether it's meditation whether it's communication we're not talking we're just numb it's there's a there's a there's nothing there's nothing and so the way we heal this this week is 
by coming out of the space stop being stuck and like really go back into your power again because you cannot let um whatever happened to you whatever the case may be you cannot let not your your thoughts keep you in this hermetic place but you can also not let your emotional state carry on this way either you have to heal yourself if you know that you have a problem why are you not trying to address it why are you not trying to be better why are you not trying to stop having that problem and it's like this is one of these mutable sign problems because a lot of the mutable signs when they get stuck in something um they kind of flow but some of them can get just they can like live in that space for a while and this could be that that thing that's happening right now um where it's just like oh i'm just I don't, I don't really want to move anywhere. I'm just like, ah, I'm just like, they have like their yin and yang moments where they like really on one side and then they'll really be on the other side. But this is like being in the other side right now is not a healthy thing to do. It's just not. There's no balance. And we're still in Libra season. We're still demanding. We're still being demanded demanded to have this balance. It's a seek this balance. And that really comes from coming back into our power and coming back to re remembering who the fuck we is. Like remembering who the fuck we is like i i don't know why some of you guys are stuck a lot of it is an ego thing a lot of it is a situation where you were hurt a lot of it is you're just emotionally exhausted you're mentally exhausted of a situation a lot of it is your you found out that you were sick and so you're like blocking yourself up from it it's like a lot of it is like the way it will apply to everyone is not going to be the same but the outcome is the blockage and the blockage does not help you because then you are literally just you, you can literally make yourself even worse like even more sick with this that's the problem you don't have to like come back from this if you don't want to but you're just gonna stay blocked and when you like stay blocked you can't use these gifts you can't you cannot you cannot if you stop feeding yourself you will die from hunger and water and lack of and dehydration basically you will die because you are not using your tools your body is a tool your spirit is a tool all these things are a tool and so when you're not using your tools your tools, this is a tool. Your voice is a tool. This is a tool. Your hands are a tool. Everything is a tool. Like, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck in this place. They literally have to re have repeated the same message for like the past five, four or five chakras. Same message, literally. There's a lot of us who are stuck. Um, and, our, and, and we, we're like actively doing this. This is not something that we're like, we found a cave and we just, you know, it was a nice cave and we just stayed in. No, we are, we know, we know we're stuck. We know we're there. We put ourselves there. We're conscious of it, but we're not taking ourselves out of it. And it's like, no, accept, accept the toxicity, accept this so you can move forward. Accept this not life is not always gonna be sunshine and rainbows and like sometimes it will be and sometimes it'll be a fucking awesome time but like listen a lot of you guys have to understand you know i'm saturn's child i'm always gonna say this you know i'm saturn child you know you know i'm saturn child you will always be paying your karma if you do not treat your body well you will make yourself sick the karma will come in many ways in ways that you will hate yourself for not having a dress before and there's nothing worse than hating your past like the, yourself in the past because you're like oh i could have done better i should have known better would have seen i could have spoken to myself i could have done it different like all the shit but the thing is that all you can do you can only handle yourself now like you can handle handle your business now like this is not a later thing this is a now thing so handle your shit now say what needs to be said now if you need to go speak to a therapist go speak to somebody please go speak to somebody even if, it, if you don't want it to be your friends you need to go speak to somebody this week because these readings have been crazy crazy this week oh, what is that oh. 
it's just like all the things all the things okay Ooh, hold on okay so that's interesting so our guidance is sacred pool that's 47 <laughs> I'm dying because I just started reading the the first sentence okay sacred pool the world is a reflection of your thoughts feelings and beliefs embody the love you wish to see in the world when you look into the mirror do you like what you see the sacred pool cards ask you to focus on the self-love and self-esteem what did i say okay okay we're just gonna calm down we're just gonna calm down and self-esteem we are all a work in progress so a detached self-examination made with rigorous honesty is called for now reflect by the sacred pool and be at peace with yourself can you see how far you've come and how magical your life is do you notice the spark of divine shining through your eyes when you're conscious that you're the embodiment of of spirit it becomes easier to respect yourself and act in good conscience then you'll reap the greatest rewards your unique service to the world is not only the needed but uh, not only needed but celebrated see the love within you and know that you that if you cast it upon the waters it will return to you tenfold be at peace for you are beautiful and loved act with surety and confidence and success shall be yours whatever your inquiry so i know i really like this oracle deck it's called enchanted maps is really awesome if anybody wanted to know what the deck was um yeah it done it just been repeating myself like this whole time but it's it's just it's really important to do this because this work is not necessarily it's not the easiest stuff to have to go through but it's necessary to really check yourself and like to really check yourself you really need to check yourself this is again we've talked about this, this is about value like check your check 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 yourself this has got to stop. One of the things I've always said about myself is that I'm, I am my own best friend. I don't do this to myself. Because I am this. At all times. I don't do this. I have my moments. Yes, I have my moments. But I'm always processing. And that's because I'm a Gemini moon. I'm always processing. So this is always like this for me. It's never like this. I'm always processing. That's that mercurial gift of mine i'm always processing or always trying to communicate and always trying to understand verbally why and but after i do that i still come out of it it's so easy for me to get detached because of all my aquarius placements but at the same time it's like i'm not gonna get that bad when i can't speak my moon is a gemini that is literally my emotions like right here like i can't i have to you know don't do this don't block your own tools there are tools there are gifts don't block your gifts it's really that simple so i will see you guys in the next video um don't forget to subscribe and all the links and stuff will be down below Mwah.